in the journey of life, it's so important to plan for all stages of your life and your loved one's lives. Mr. Greg Steen, founder and CEO of Senior Care Advocates, joins us now. Welcome, Greg. What are some of the risk factors that caregivers face and are facing? Good question. So the biggest one is uh, emotional stress, you know, because it's I always tell people I haven't been a full-time mom, but it's probably right up there with the hardest job in the world. Uh, you know, physical stress, emotional stress, it's 24 seven, so it's very taxing, it's overwhelming. Okay. What happens is people get isolated through the years because, you know, their friends don't really know how to help them and they can't go anywhere, they can't do the social thing anymore, maybe they can't go out to dinner as much. So they kind of become isolated, don't want to be a burden on anybody. And then that kind of turns into resentment sometimes. Right. Right. You know, one day changes everything and you instantly become a caregiver. Right. So some of those caregivers, and I know we spoke previously, I've uh -huh. watched this throughout my life as a child, are some of those caregivers spouses? Or are they someone else? Who are typically those people? First of all, they're the probably the best people in the world because it takes a very special person to be a caregiver but about 85% of all caregivers in the U.S. are caring for a family member or a spouse. Wow, that's incredible. And what's respite care and why is it so important? Good question. So respite care is really just relief. You know, again, it's so taxing, it's so challenging. And so self-care uh, is important. And respite is where for those people that are out there and they're caring for someone, we always tell them, you need a break. You gotta right. take care of you. So respite care, like for instance, the VA offers respite care um, to our veterans. It's a good thing. It can be about 11 hours a month. You can pay in home care companies. You can get a friend to come over and give you a break, you know, keep your sanity. Right, absolutely. So, yeah. And we spoke on its self-care awareness month. Am it I is. On that? Yeah. It's so yeah. incredibly important for people to recognize that. And uh, what would you say to people right now, caregivers who are at that point where they're just thinking, I don't know if I can keep going, what, what comes next for me? So I would say to anybody who's out there right now, if you're caring for somebody and you are really struggling and you're challenged with this and really not sure what to do, I think the easiest thing is just to call us. You know, there's no cost. We'll call us, we'll answer your questions, we'll point you in the right direction, we'll give you some hope. You know, I always tell people I don't believe in charging people to give them hope, right? right? Um, but we do know the resources that are out there, um, both locally and also online. And, uh, but if you are really, really stressed out, there's immediate help. You know, you can contact us and we'll give you the resources of different places that will take your loved one for a week or two and let you regroup and get healthy again and, and just get that rest. Um, but there's online resources, there's um, help through the VA, there's help through Valley Caregiver Resources, which is a local group. Um, but the biggest thing I think in answer to your question is people just need to ask for help. Mm -hmm. People don't want to be a burden, right? right? It's like, oh, you know, especially the older generation, they don't want to be a burden to their kids. They don't want to be a burden to anybody. But because of that, they end up um, suffering really more than they should. Right, absolutely. And I understand there is actually an event going on at the People's Church. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about that as well? Thank you for asking. Absolutely. So. If you're one of those people that's out there and you're just wondering, man, where's the help and who can I go to? Um, September 13th at People's Church here in Fresno, there's uh, Pastor Camelia Cross has invited us to go and just share resources. We're gonna talk about all the benefits of you know getting some help, all the benefits that are out there through the VA and through Medi-Cal and through funding, uh, self-funding and how to maximize what you have, how to tap into the resources. Uh, it's a free event and uh, anybody's welcome. So People's Church has been very gracious. In addition to this, I just wanna take a minute and tell people if you're concerned about being in a large group or being among people that you're not familiar with, People's Church has very graciously added um, an element that I've never seen anywhere, which is a biodefense system that will actually be in place, clear out all the germs in the whole room ahead of time. Wow and make it super safe for people to be there. Well, so, Mr. Gregstein, yeah. thank you so much for what you do and, and the hope that you bring to people is so special. And thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, appreciate Absolutely. it.